Fierce clashes are underway in Ukraine's battle against Russia over the industrial city of Bakhmut in eastern Ukraine's Donetsk region. Russian forces, stretched in numbers by reserves, tightened their defenses in the devastated east, but Ukrainian forces remained. On the front lines, Ukraine has eroded a significant amount of Russia's defense and logistics capabilities in the various regions of the country it occupies. Officials in Kyiv have repeatedly said that the counteroffensive is aimed not only at territorial gains but also at reducing Russia's combat capabilities. Over the past 24 hours, 67 clashes took place between Ukrainian Guard troops and Russian invaders on the front lines. In newly published footage, you can watch Ukrainian forces cover a convoy of Russian vehicles, one by one in a deadly airstrike in the east. This footage was released by the 14th Separate Mechanized Brigade of the Ukrainian Armed Forces and shows troops discovering a convoy of Russian military vehicles moving across the battlefield. Ukrainian troops attacked with deadly precision and caught the enemy off guard as several explosions occurred around them. Another video also shows the moment Ukrainian artillery strikes Russian enemies on the southern front as key forces continue their offensive ahead of winter. Although both sides have so far failed to achieve a major breakthrough on any front, fighting continues on the front lines. The footage shows the BM-21 Grad multi-launch rocket system attempting to hide in the tree line separating the two fields. Suddenly, there was an explosion of fire surrounded by a ring of shrapnel typical of HIMARS attacks before several rockets exploded and came out of the explosion. Ukraine's defense ministry said, technological supremacy. HIMARS effectively destroyed the Russian BM-21 Grad MLRS. The ministry said the footage was taken by the 148th Artillery Brigade, which is known to operate in southern Ukraine near the Orykiv Axis in Zaporizhia. The video drama comes amid fighting on the front lines. Russia has launched a major offensive on its eastern front in Donetsk over the past month and is reportedly taking heavy losses. Ukrainian forces also shared footage of a Ukrainian drone operator running the length of a Russian tank using an FPD drone. In the footage, you can see a Russian tank operator hastily jumping from the tank before the Ukrainian drone crashes into the tank and shatters it into pieces. Other footage also shows Ukrainian drones from the 14th incident hunting for and successfully destroying invaders, BMP-3s and Russian tanks in operation. On Saturday, the Ukrainian general staff said that Ukrainian forces continued offensive operations south of the city and repelled 24 Russian attacks near Evanivsk, which is located 6.7 miles west of Bakhmut, near Klishchivka and near Andreevka. The defense ministry said that Russia lost around 200 armored vehicles during fighting for the city over the past three weeks. To date, Ukrainian defense forces eliminated approximately 317,380 Russian invaders between February 24, 2022 and November 18, 2023, including 620 invaders over the last 24 hours. On the other side, fighting is taking place in Avdivka. Russian troops are actively advancing and expanding their presence in the region. A few days ago, the Tokmash landfill in gardening north of Avdivka came under the control of the Russian armed forces. Then Russian units entered the city from the south, taking up positions in the Yasinovatsky lane area. At the same time, Russian troops occupied most of the village of Stepovoy, Stepno, northwest of Avdivka, increasing the fire pressure also from the south, from the direction of Vodinoy. Reports are now circulating that Russian troops have crossed the city limits of Avdivka in the Avdivsky sand mine area, located in the northern part of the city. According to Ukrainian media, the Russian armed forces are also advancing on the Avushka Gardening Partnership located south of the controlled ash dump after overcoming forest plantations. Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky described the situation near Avdivka 
and Kupians, as very difficult for the Ukrainian armed forces. The Ukrainian military is faced with the problem of shell starvation, meaning it is forced to fire less ammunition from its artillery than in the summer period. Despite advancing Russian troops, the Ukrainian military maintained its position in Abdiivka and northwest of the city, actively using reserves to maintain transport links with the city via the village of Orlovka.